All right, guys, in today's video, I'm playing some Nissa combo. I have tweaked and tweaked and tweaked and tweaked and tweaked and tweaked this deck. Um, if you run any of the ramp cards that uh, have you lose tempo, you end up just losing to Chandra's and Nahiri's and stuff like that. And it's really annoying. And um, I wanted to have a way of winning the game outright against control. So that's why we still have the Strahd and the Hasten combo and the double lookout to help facilitate that. And so the general idea was I just wanted to play a mid-range deck that could stave off aggression and then lava wave them and kind of like turn the corner the same way that Domri does. And if I'm playing up against something really slow and controlling, I can fall back on the Strahd and Hasten. So this way, I thought that I really wouldn't have any bad matchups other than Liliana, uh, Reanimator. That's the only bad matchup for this deck, I think. I think you can win... Uh, against anything else and I'm running so many fight effects because in case my opponent has a lot of flyers I want a way for straw to get through um, and um, the lava wave is another way to facilitate that so um, grudge match is how you uh, fight tracker is another way of fighting infest can uh, you know um, help you against these aggressive decks aggressive decks I'm talking about uh, and clear some flyer errors out of the way Fight for the board. Boar helps fight for the board, especially with Tracker and Grudge Match very effectively. Mole is a way of ramping a little bit, but having a body still. Uh, Titan is ramping in a body. Primal Summoning is uh, ramping to your combo um, and uh, drawing a bunch of cards. So if you draw all four cards and then drop like a Titan, you know, everything's, you know, pretty okay. But yeah, there's just no nonsense. There's no room for any nonsense. You just can't. Uh, you just can't do it. You're just gonna die uh, too often to greedy decks. And when I tell you that, like, I mean, I was running Crusher Worms at one point. Um, I was running Sun Titan at one point to help me draw and still have a body. Just all kinds of stuff, man. And um, I think if you just want the highest win percentage possible, it needs to be built something like this to uh, fight for the board, and then you still have the combo against control decks. So. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it, and thank you for watching. All right, going up against Teferi here. Um, I've been tuning this deck over and over and over again, trying to get it right for the super, super aggressive meta we're in. Uh, last time I played this deck against the Teferi, they were running a bunch of flyers, and it wasn't like, you know, typical control. It was more like my Teferi flyer list, and so that wasn't good. Um, I'm going to hard mull for my combo pieces because that's just how I'm going to have to end the game. Okay. It's time. I am not afraid to fight. Huh. Huh. I've thought about taking this out a few times because I'm really not a fan about how it makes you use your it's fragile mana gems, much. but I usually don't gain that many. Is this just this another flyer deck? Jeez, man. Like, I just want to play against control when I play this deck. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use this. Drink deep from the well of life. One drop 3-3 three, three seems pretty good. If you pass, I pass. Okay. Please and thank you. A fellow seeker. Okay, so if he's holding up negate, I can just stag the bird. to attack. Uh. 
Might save stag in case there's Take more this. flyers. I think I will. Let's play the boar here. Familiar? Sick. So they're gonna keep bringing back familiars to make it harder to OTK them. That's super cool. Like that. Might have to keep a grudge match in my back pocket. Let's mix it up. So I'm gonna attack, see if they're holding up glare, because if they are, then I'm just gonna play Titan. Or my land will go off. You're so good, oh my god. My enemies, take this. Goodbye. If that's the tracker thing, I'm gonna be super annoyed. No point in letting them cycle. Drink deep from the well of life. <laughs> Guess I'll see if there's a negate. Oh no, I can't do that. I'm just gonna attack. Right? <laughs> okay, it was transparent hallway. Right on time. Hmm. So block, block. Story, bro. Take this. I have to save Grudge Match in case there's more flyers. Like he could even get uh, like call the wind off of a staff. So have to stop that. These are also flyers I have to worry about now. I can try and grudge match this, I guess. Catch me if you can. You're no fun. All right, absorb. Get it out of the way. I want to make the primal summoning have a higher likelihood of going off. Oh man, and he's just going to keep getting the flyers back, dude. What is this? I have seen unimaginable Okay, well this is my primal summoning turn. It's really funny as you could die here. So lucky. Yeah, there's only 12 cards left. Like, he was really close to dying. Like, just such a terrible, terrible uh, control player, but it's not going to matter because they have such a favorable matchup. Like, just zero respect for Primal Summoning into the combo. I'll bite. Okay. Let's 
see that now again. I have to wait till 14 because now the shields are back up. Like it's not even like that unreasonable that I'd have it because all I need is primal summoning like one of the combo pieces and I'm going four more deep. <laughs> like could have found it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. Can't risk overdrawing. I mean, if I go down to this, it'll be seven. Yeah, so I mean, I could, um. Lead this I could do fast. this and, and this, right? Three, six. Yeah. There it is. Kind of want to save Tracker for killing a flyer. I must not delay. <sighs> now let's try something new. <sighs> Doesn't matter if I overdraw anymore, I have every single thing I need. I just need to get to 14 mana now. This was the last card, so if I hadn't played this, I would have uh, milled Strahd. Been super wrecked. What did he just do? Signatures. Please gotta have that. the gotta have this. I mean, I can try tracker and infest. I doubt it can stop all that. I can try just straight attacking too. Yeah, that's fine. I want to get an idea of what's there. So now there's only four mana left. So I know I can answer this thing now. Oh, he's just gonna do it for me. Okay, he has no idea. She actually holding up. Nope. Try again. Absorb for that. Okay. I guess my guy. Right on time. Trying to make. No, I gotta save that. I want him to day a judgment. Like, I really, really want him to day a judgment. That's close enough. So, just need my land not to go off now. Okay, cool, we win. Unless that's um the tracker snare. I can see everything from up here. Yay. You have my attention. I am nothing if not fair. <laughs> this guy's probably like, what the heck man? I've, I've got traps, man. I, I should never lose like this, man. Like, terrible, terrible play. They opened themselves up to being killed a couple times there. Um, like, just not respecting anything. Um, but it doesn't matter. As long as I clear the flyers, I know I'm going to get it eventually. Same guy, man. Oh, good grief. Well, I guess this can just show you guys how not to play Teferi and, um, you know. How to play against Teferi, this I guess, even though it's really not hard in this epic. matchup, but um, people will just run into Teferi all the time, and this is what this person is used to happening. Uh, you know, they're just used to um, people just playing into their traps blindly. Like, every time traps went off, I knew exactly, the, like, I knew that the traps were going to go off. It's time. Um, it's more like me just prodding him for information, which is really important when you play against Teferi. Uh, people ask me, I've had a few people message me, um, 
you know, any tips for playing against a fairy and prodding them for um, information is really important. Okay, well, I need Strahd, and that's it now. And to get to 14. Oh, is this what I'm going up against, dude? Okay, I'm going up against the Yak deck. That makes, okay, that makes the, that make a lot more sense now. I'm just never going to kill the Yak, if I'm being honest. If he gives me a good infest, I might not be able to resist. Because I also have lava waves to uh, pick up the yaks, but I don't know if he'll give me that much. Uh... Drink deep from the well of life. Okay, well, I might just get beat down if I keep doing nothing, so. He didn't see my infests last time. And that just bought me a lot of time. Sure, buddy. Boundless potential. Now I can play mole. Drink deep from the well of oh, that's my land goes off, okay. Hmm, that's kind of a it's kinda of just a wild noise, I kinda of like it. Yep. If he needs to get Tracker Snare for this matchup, but I mean, it might not even give him the option. Let's mix it up. <laughs> I'm attacking here, hoping that there's something. Take this. Goodbye. So that means it's absorb. Okay, it was called. I wanted to see if it was said it was made by the staff or not. What did he just do? Oh, he played Elemental Mastery. Okay. If my land doesn't go off... Well, no, I guess it doesn't matter if the land goes off or not. You know what, let's see if he trades. He might just trade for me. He didn't trade for me. Okay, that's interesting. Sick him! Actually, I need to get rid of the flyer. I just need to keep that open. Like, the elemental's two more damage. And then I also keep my creature that's probably gonna answer the 2 3, so it's fine. I wonder if he's gonna hold up, like, negate or, like, a glare or something. Okay, that looks like negate, obviously. So now I can attack with just these two. If he wants to trade, that's fine. Whoa! Okay, well, he's getting lava waved. You are getting lava waved. I don't think you saw that either. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, he just plays into everything and it doesn't matter. Let's see if I can take stuff off the board like this. That's big dumb. It bothers me so much that he just leaves himself open to things all the time, and it just doesn't matter. Huh. 
I do get to just keep attacking him back. So I'm really gonna be limiting like what kind of traps you can hold up. What is this deck? Please play the angel. I, I can't, I, do, I really don't like how this guy plays Teferi. Like he doesn't leave anything to the imagination. I don't have to wonder what he's got. I don't have to think about anything. He's just like telling me everything I need to know. I'm sorry, Oblivion, if, uh, if you follow me. I'm not trying to pick on you, man. I just think, uh... I'd really have to see the list. I mean, it might just not be as trap-heavy as I think it is. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just, um... Maybe it's just not very trap-heavy. I don't know. I mean, I've seen a glares and absorbs already, though. Anyway, and disorients. So. Maybe the package for the yaks is big. I don't know, man. Teferi is so flexible, like you could run Snapcaster Mages, or in, um, I haven't seen Day of Judgment yet either, maybe that's something he just doesn't think he needs, because he thinks he fights for the board well enough, in which case that would be hilarious. I'm gonna find out this game, I'm gonna find out this game if he has Day of Judgment or not. I'm gonna make him play it. Drink deep from the well of life. Okay, this screams glare to me. Not that I really think it matters. I'm still, I think I'm gonna play into it. My friend doesn't like you. No! Yeah, he's trying to uh see so that can't attack. Uh oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. If he plays it now though, it won't have um armor and um I'll know he doesn't have anything. Yeah, so he wants to leave some stuff up here. I don't think he has absorbed. Right on time. He does. Oh, guess again. Oh, this is fourteen, man. If I had more mana, I could just hasten and kill his uh, his self. <laughs> Almost cursed on my channel. Almost. Must not delay. Wait a minute. This is 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, it's so close, man. He's so close to just dead from hasten. I'm playing this. I'm not playing anything else because I can. This might be the day of judgment turn, but if it is and he doesn't hold up anything, um, I can look out Titan and Hasten for game. I don't think he runs judgment. That's wild. Oh, this is. Um, he's just going to play the angel now? Are you just going to play the angel now? Are he's, hopefully he's worried about... Oh, he's drafting. Okay, okay. That's really funny that the hasten might just get me the game just giving something haste randomly. Um, if I treetop lookout... I play monstrous mole... If I treetop lookout, he has no traps. And then... This is uh, seven, so he blocks two sevens, and then he's at nine. So yeah, that's game, right? I can see everything from up here. Like I'm not insane, right? <laughs> like he blocks. <sighs> so 
So, I mean, that should be dead. <laughs> These two both block sevens, and this is nine, and he has no traps. If I hadn't played that 2-4 last turn, I wouldn't have lethal right now. I warned you. What a pleasant outcome. I should have seen that. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, maybe his deck's just weird. I don't know. Try not to uh pick too much. Just seemed like just leaving himself open to a lot of stuff, but I mean Maybe you're just not expecting, uh, I mean, I don't know why you'd be expecting this is to run Lava Wave and stuff, but that's part of the reason like I like doing it. It's like surprise factor, you know? All right, guys, that'll do it for today's video. Sorry that it was just uh, the same Teferi guy twice, but, um, you know, it, it just shows, I think, how to play against Teferi. Um, not that it, it was kind of like a, not even a really a typical Teferi because it was kind of like way more aggressive. Um, you know, mid rangey. I really like to ferry flyers backed up by traps, but like the yak thing and all that's just kind of weird. Um, I know there's a good, there are good yak versions, but um, just wasn't a fan of that version. And I think it, you know, um, kind of displayed why it wasn't so great. But um, the lava wave catches people off guard, like it always does when I run it in Nissa. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's fun. And again, if uh, if you want to climb the ladder with it. Um, I think this is the best way of doing it right now. It's pretty expensive though. I mean, you got two legendaries right here, one epic. So, well, you see, three epics, four epics, five epics. I mean, it's not that bad. It's five epics, two legendaries. So, six epics and two legendaries total. It's not the cheapest deck, but um, it's not the most expensive either. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.